subscribe. Yes, welcome back to the Balanced Diet of Teletainment. Feel good Friday, Fachi, and feel a Friday night be today. But this next bus stop will enter. I want to tell you one of the major news we break out just yesterday evening, even as they talk now, the story is still the developed because that part of Lagos is almost on lockdown. Now, they say the Lagos state government, they don't come outside, they tell sorry with the families of um, victims where we lose their lives and property for on top of the fatal tanker explosion which shell just yesterday on top of dollar Bridge um, in Ward Ojodu Bega area of the state. Now, they say this, team, this um, incident will shell around 5 p.m. and over 50 moto nine born while plenty of people lose their life. Now, um, for statements signed by the Commissioner for Information and Strategy, Mr. Kende Bami Beton, now in common side, talk say this situation is oh, a very sad development. In talk, in common side, they won't give your own bereaved statement to the families of victims who don't lose their life. In common side, talk say the uh, governor, but they don't direct all relevant agency, make them move into the area to normalize everything where they shell it. In the common side, I sure say the highway go they cleared of the damaged vehicles so that normal traffic flow will continue throughout, even as we they speak. So in the common side, call on the cooperation of all citizens with the officials of the agency to restore normalcy to the um, to that area as we they speak. So but as we they speak now, I'd be like say a lot of traffic officials they there to monitor traffic to make sure say people feel work out do their daily activity even as we they speak, even though we know say that place they bring back fresh memories of ours just hours ago with that this incident Shelly for inside Lagos State. Yeah, talking about fresh memories, just that yesterday night while we did the uh, real time film festival challenge, they've been get somebody when I meet we say in C in day dear when they think they happen and she was devastated. She just sit down just they look for minutes, very, very shaking. Complete you go see us in the shake physically. Because they say now you pass that road, come away we've been doing the film time real time festival and she was saying yeah, if you know see the thing with your Koro Koro eye you know, if you understand that this thing take happen. Cars, you know, now the, the ripple effect just they spread from one car to the other. All the trail where the petrol being splashed, fire just they catch all the cars. People they run. You could say people they fight war. According mm -hmm. by reading this eyewitness been tell me, say the, the, the way the thing spread in a very, very sad case. And something really, really needs to be done uh, to the state of not just our roads, but, you know, the vehicles on the road. You know, uh, we could hear people being they really, really lament yesterday about our road, uh, you know, road safety officials. We be say, we they, you could they, they ask, uh, uh, private vehicle owners say for, for roadworthiness and other things that they need. But some of these big heavy duty trucks, you they see them without even asking for any documents or any roadworthiness, you can tell that these vehicles are not worthy of our So be on the roads. They yeah. shouldn't be there. You they see vehicles, heavy duty trucks, tankers, uh, we say one out of the six or out of the twelve tires, one don't you know, one don't spoil. The tire they roll, the, the tire they roll for granted, it don't spoil. Or one one tire not even there at all. Some of the trucks don't bend, go one side, and then nobody is stopping them. This many of these trucks are potential hazards for our roads, but nobody they stop them. It's an irony, uh, say these it's trucks very, very are, they belong to big companies. Now the irony of it, if you look at, because if you check them out, the people where they drive and are young people, where some of them are inexperienced, but the owners of these vehicles now big people where they for inside our society, big companies. So you're going to wonder, say, what is the maintenance culture of these companies? If you claim to have a standard, then within that standard they talk in terms of the container where they transport your goods, because now we're talking about goods where they transport from one state to the other. What is the state of very this? True transport system. Now let's bring into book another incident we happened during this particular um, sad um, accident. Now this is not the first time we did things that happened for the bridge. According to my information, this is like the second time. Eight years ago, um, part, this similar incident happened for this Hotel Tola Bridge and about 15 people were burnt mm -hmm. as regards to this. Now another thing where the emergency unit become as I talk say uh, when this particular um, incident be happened. Now the crowd. They talk say it was so hard trying to tell the crowd to move back than even saving people. Because some people genuinely were there to save others, Why some were just there just to take her. pictures and videos. And Unfortunately, still. at the age of social media, mm -hmm. now day, if you remember the last bomb blast we happened, uh, where they say after the first uh, explosion, people gather, the people gather and they look, pictures. and then the people who gather were affected by mm -hmm. rocket-propelled uh, grenade, RPG. Now, we don't talk this in several times. So in cases of accidents or such, uh, you know, such uh, badness like this, the best thing to do, nobody to go stand there, begin the look. If at all you must get any eyewitness report, give you know a reasonable distance mm -hmm. so that first of all the operate, you know the, the safety workers <coughs> will go inside there to do their work and to help the people, the victims where they there. And secondly, in case something else happen, uh, people where they around no go today affected. Very true. So really, really, we need to we need to learn first of all. Also, um, back then, uh, something I won't bring up. Uh, back in the day when we they grew up, when we did inside the uh, primary school or elementary school, as people they call them, they would teach us tips on first aid. 
first aid, first hand treatment to give accident victims or injured <coughs> victims. But these days, many of these things don't come up for school curriculum. Many of these things don't come up for regular teaching, day by day teaching. Uh, if we get some of this knowledge, I believe, say, even if we know if it's uh, a completely safe life, at least if we try, we can try. You know, we can try to help. But with people this modern age, as you talk, people they are more concerned about their phones and about breaking the news breaking online the news, exactly. than even helping and another helping person. Who are in trouble. I beg, please, when you there's an incident like this, before you take your phone to take pictures or videos, try and see if you can save people around, and if possible, get out from the scene. Not just there for the scene, just to take pictures and videos. Just get out for the scene so that the emergency unit go do their work um, efficiently, please. To enjoy more of this, our will get videos when you just watch. Press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.